time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Monday, April 15th. The bloody streets continue. ES down 60, NASDAQ down 290, Russell down 32, Dow down 262, gold and silver both green, notes and bonds red, 10-year yield up almost 3%, oil Close to unchanged, natural gas down 4%, grains all red, euro in the pound a little bit red, Bitcoin down 5%, VIX above 19, up 10%, was started the day down about 5, so that's about a 15% reversal in the VIX today. Uh, my down day power hour doesn't qualify because we're down more than 1.2% from the open, currently down one68 so the only thing that I've got is the Wooga and then that quad 41 DTE test trade that I'm doing with a couple lots on that one. Uh, as for today, bring my trade steward down. No port, uh, no challenge portfolio trades. I did take a discretionary uh, one DTE that got stopped out. Uh, my a my nine forty five AM ratio hit thirty five percent profit target. My NDX trade is down. That'll probably be a loser. My rut one DTE hedge is up. Uh, these are the two that I just put on the Wuga and the Quad forty. Uh, and then outside of my bots, I did a couple of price action trades. One got stopped, one hit 20 and 40%. And I'm still holding some long puts. So I'm green on price action. Green, small green overall today. But that is all I did. Let's see. I don't see Chad in the uh in the Zoom. So I'm not sure if he's joining us. SPX hitting new lows as we speak. VIX, not quite back up to highs of day, but not far off. So my Wooga, I got filled at 571, and that's on the 65s and 80s. Just went small, four lots on the Wooga. Trying to decide when to sell the rest of my long. Probably would have done better selling them about an hour ago when we made this little big flush here, but We'll see. Still could get a little, uh, still could get another little flush. Oh, there's Chad. Better late than never, Chad. Better late than never. There you go. Yeah, I was watching something on my uh, charts and just uh, time got past me. So, wow, what a what a day, man. How are you holding up? 
Yeah. So my AM number one was a big winner. Thanks to that flush on my, I sold my longs for five bucks. Nice. What would um, you buy them at? Uh, I think, I think 15 cents. Sweet. And there's 10 of them. Um, and then I mean, lunchtime number one, I got out of uh, 2040 and I'm waiting to get out of 60, but I'm going to need a little bit more of a bounce here now. Uh, and then I'm in a power hour and I have not gotten out of, wait, let me see here. No, I have not gotten out of 20% of that yet. If I can get a little bounce, I, I would. For normal four dollar tranche one, twenty five wide. Yeah, if we can get some price just to settle down, man. The, the, you know the, I can really you can really see how you can be very profitable getting these wide yeah, premium. Short that premium strikes. just gets sucked yeah. out quick. Yeah, and this is the first time. Like I know you guys probably had premium like this. Zero DT what last summer? Twenty twenty two for yeah. sure. Yeah, so this is, this is like the first time for me. It's been like this. I mean, there is VIX was higher in October of last year, and also in March of last year during the whole regional bank issue. But then before that, but those were pretty short little spikes. Before that, twenty twenty two was was really juicy. Yeah, you can really book some quick profits. I can, I can tell. But we got to keep it from flushing here. I did do a little, when, when price pushed down below the expected move, which is about the 51.20 level, and then bounced back up to it, I did a short call spread and then condored it off. So I've got a uh, little guaranteed profit of 125. Or if we happen to bounce above 5095, I could between 50, if we happen to settle between 5095 and 5120, which is a big bounce, I could make 2600 on that. But just gonna hold that, let yeah. it expire. Yeah. So, so for my first AM Iron Condor, I booked 20, 40, 20 and forty percent, then got stopped. But with those shorts, my profit was five thousand six hundred forty-five bucks. Nice. So normally, with a forty percent and then a stop, you're looking at, you know, maybe fifteen hundred. Yeah, yeah. I had one twenty forty percent winner, and then I had one stop out without anything. But I'm still, but. I'm green on that one because I still have seven longs, which I should have. I mean, as of now, I should have sold them earlier after that big flush, but still green. Just never know when to sell those things. You just want to hold them because you think there might be a little bit more. Yeah, I know. And then it, as soon as it bounces, it just sucks the premium out. All right, so there's 20% on my power hour on that little bounce. Beautiful. Wooga we'll like the little bounce. Yeah, down day doesn't qualify. So we're down over 1.2%. Trying to figure out what to do with my one two and my one three from this morning. They are down. My puts are on the 50, 90, and 50, 85. So if we don't gap down too big, they'll be fine, but I'm not sure I want to take that gap risk. So I'll decide if I'm going to close those out by end of day.
all sectors red, real estate getting hit the hardest, then tech, oil, SMH, regional banks, healthcare is almost unchanged, but still a little bit red. Do you have a handful of green stocks? Goldman Sachs is up almost 3%. They must have had earnings. Yeah. So Goldman Sachs is up. Intel's up. Lockheed Martin is up, which makes sense. Bank of America, another bank is up. Then on the most red, we've got DJT down 17%, UPST down 7.5%, Coinbase down 7 Piton down 7 Salesforce down 7 Tesla down 5 Tesla approaching new lows, new recent, new recent lows. New lows of the year. The rut duck or the rut hedge? There's still a lot of a lot of move on the rut hedge left. You gotta stop looking at tasty. Tasty stupid. Wuga to stay above how, 50, 60. Yeah, how wide was the Wuga? 15 wide for me. Nice. VXX getting a little pop, obviously, but about, about as high as it went Friday. So that one I put on Friday is right at about break even. The other one obviously is down that I put on first. So I'm not looking to add or take away at this point. Close that at ES Hedgehog for a nice profit. Still have one in NQ. It's in good shape. That one. That one's at 11 DTE. And then the other ES. On the risk graph, because it's using two different expirations on the futures, looks down, but it's actually up a couple hundred. Yeah, I enter those rut hedges every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, I just need it to stay up here. Don't go. Don't want it to go through lows. Rolled down calls on one of my MES strangles, close to rolling down calls on QQQ ah. as well. Yeah, SPX heading back towards lows of day. Yeah, I didn't want to see that. Dick K's back in action, going for the 5,100 pin. So I had my little pity party on my uh, my discretionary trade gone bad last week. 
decided the best way to tame that beast was to jump right back on the horse. So I just dipped in, dipped back in with a little MES. Sold some, been holding, I've still got two left. Only one way to tame the beast, jump back on the horse. That's right. SPX new lows of day. Yeah, I mean, I just, I just kind of realized, I mean, that, that piece of my trading is, is definitely an important part of the overall picture, but it's just about keeping it in check, staying small. So QQQ, I got in those calls at 202. All right, just rolled down calls in the QQQ strangle. Wooga hanging out near the break even to the downside. Yeah, definitely a bounce. Uh, Suresh, my Wooga is at the 65s and 80s are my shorts. Don't know if we're going to get one. Uh, Quanteo, mind it. That's not mine. I'm not sure which back test. Oh. You know what? I'm sorry. You're right. I I changed it because I was looking at doing Wugas on neutral days, up days, and I forgot to change it back. 
So I need to, uh, I need to change that back. Sorry about that. I, uh, yeah, for me, I just trade Wugas whenever I have the strikes available. You know, if it's an up day, I'm definitely not trading because I'm, I've got my up day iron condors. If it's a down day, I'm doing my down day today is neither. And so, yeah, I forgot. I, I forgot to remove that. There we go. Now it's fixed. Hit a low fifty fifty nine point two six. VIX chopping around above nineteen. Has anyone traded or played around with that quad 40 test that I posted last week? I like it. I think I'll probably add it to my plan next month. There it is. <clears throat> it's one DTE. But it, just enters right before power hour, right at power hour time. And then it's kind of like a one DTE Wuga. It still comes off at the end of the day, but using one day options instead of uh, zero DTE and a little bit wider than the Wuga. With a $3 profit target, $3 stop loss. I hit 40% on my power hour trade. I haven't decided on size yet. I've, been, I've just been doing two lots just to test, test it, but I mean, it's, you know, like today, obviously we got some juiced IV, but today my shorts are 45 wide and the, the teaser line stays pretty, pretty flat, pretty wide. So I, I don't know. I haven't decided. I mean, it's a $3 stop, so 300 bucks per lot of risk. So yeah, I don't know. I got to think about that a little more. Uh, I'm not going to add it to my challenge portfolio yet. I'm gonna. Uh, I'll, I'll trade it for a month in my other one, and then consider it.
Yep, capture eight small. It's gonna be a three dollar winner, three dollar loser, or somewhere in between. A little choppy choppy above the 50 60. Let's hope this doesn't have one more push down in it. I mean, it's it's gone down far enough. I don't I don't think it needs to push down any farther. I could do without new without any new lows until overnight. I'll take it overnight. And there's new lows. Shucks. All right. I'm going to look at selling some of these longs from my earlier. Still would have been way better off selling them after that. That big flush here at about 12.30, but. I got stopped on my. Um... Stopped on your what? My uh, power hour trade. Did you already? Did you already hit 20? Yeah, I, I had hit 20. I had hit 20 and 40. Oh, nice. I got six of these longs left. I think I'll go with selling three of them at 450. We can get one more push. Wuga is outside the range. All right, I guess I'm going to have to uh, try to think of what to do with my one, two, and one, three. I guess I'll close. I don't know if I want to wait anymore. Yeah, I could have really held my uh, long through. <laughs> A lot more. Well, I didn't think we'd get another push down. Was I wrong?
All right, so I closed my one three. I'll hold my one two here for a little bit longer, see if we just if we happen to get a bounce. But I might exit that as well. A little bounce off 52, back up to 60. We'll go back back in break even range. It's the beauty of the no stop Wooga. He's never out. He's never out until two fifty six. Chad shot another innocent bird on my property this morning. Nice. Oh, one. yeah. <clears throat> Good hunt. Did you watch the video? I did. That was nice. It's kind of uh, my backup camera. My, my good camera's in Nebraska. Was Stone with you? Nope. You were, By myself. you were controlling the camera and shooting at the same time. It, yeah, it, it gets a little tough. It can be tough doing that. I was wondering that when I was watching it. Yeah, it's not the best video. Well, I didn't get filled on those three longs at 450. Didn't quite get there. Now they're back at a buck 25. I mean, we're kind of jerking around a little bit now. Just stay right there.
So my four six, if we could get a big gap down overnight, that one's going to be in pain as well. So my one six and my one two, I'll probably close by the end of the day, but let's see if we get a bounce. VIX hit a new high, So what's the latest here on the Israel deal? Are we, are they planning a retaliation? Is that what I seeing? I'm not a hundred percent sure. I kind of been out of the loop. Israel's military chief of staff. There will be a response to Iran's launch of so many missiles and drones towards Israeli territory. Biden, the U.S. is committed to Israeli security. As Israel, I wouldn't hold my breath. I don't, I don't understand the rules of war. Like, you have to tell them you're going to attack them now? Yeah, I don't know. Things were a lot better when we were feared and nobody attacked anybody. And then we'll chop around fifty sixty. My uh power hour two is between fifty five and seventy. Is anybody tranching Wugas today? Tranche to the downside would probably be looking pretty pretty good right now.
Wuga up about 11%. Okay, three dollar, three dollar two trancher, nice. Really needed to push that far up. Yeah, twenty three percent. Man, those fifty forty five longs. I was trying to sell at four fifty. They got up to about I don't know four thirty. Now they're back to fifty cents on that little bounce. I guess I'll get rid of half of them. And that's not far enough. VIX back below 19. Wuga up 30%. And your yield back up to need about 20 cents for 20 percent of power hour two what are your strikes on that one uh 50 60 and 50 45 
So anywhere between 70 and 55. Still hanging around sixty five. Bitcoin's high was 74,415, back down to 63,560. There we go. Filled at 20%. Nice. This is shaping up to be a big TLC day. Can't imagine the Magic Mahomes is going to qualify, Dale. Let's see. At the money flies, trading for about maybe 70 or 80 cents. 22 minutes to go. Love for it to just sit right there. Don't need any rip ups. A little over twenty minutes to go, ten minutes till MOC. Wuga up twenty eight percent. Nice. My four six, if we get a bounce, could book a profit. My four hey, seven there's a... is almost profit back to profit. Five seven, about it break even as well. Six seven, about it break even as well. There is a lot of premium left in my power hour two. Yeah, they're gonna hold that to the bell. They're going to hold on to that till the last minute. <clears throat> I 
I think it should just let me have it like right now. Give it up. <laughs> yeah, this is shaping up to be a big green day for the TLC. I'm talking a five-figure day. Nice. Haven't had one of those in a while. And there is 40%. Sit right there. Luga back down towards the break even. Yeah, get back up there. There's like over four grand still in my well, not quite that much anymore. But a lot of premium left. Would you take two power hour trades, Chad? I did two. Yep. One got 2040 and then stopped. I was thinking about doing a little discretionary pH, but decided to just stick with the old Wooga. And there's 40% of number two. I would like to see it stay between 50, 60, and 50, 70. MOC number in less than five minutes. Uh, 
I am going to close my four six. So I don't like the gap risk on that one. Hoping for a little bounce to scratch a profit, but go ahead and just close it. What do, you, what do you need for a profitable Wuga? We could get a bounce, about a five point bounce, six, five, seven point bounce higher. It would hit. I mean, it's profitable right now, but to hit profit target. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Nice, Tom. Good day. So the rest of those long calls after the MOC number in case we get a big, big cell number. In my other account, I've got a iron condor on that's going to expire almost dead center. We'll get 35% now on this little bounce. 40. One more little push. Nothing too crazy. 47. And there it is. We'll get hit. Nice. I'd like for it to stay below 70. 695 million sell side. So nothing. And there's 60% power hour. One contract left. Let's see if I can let it expire. So here's my quad 40. It's up about, so my profit target's three bucks. It's up about a buck and a half. So about 6%. Yeah, this is going to be my biggest green day in quite some time. Uh, definitely aided by my AM number one. 
as long as I closed at five dollars. Yep, I didn't get I didn't get out of my longs in time. Well, I could have I could have held on to mine, and they would have been even worth even more. Like there was another. I got out of them right around one o'clock. There was another push down. Mine, mine were worth more at twelve thirty than they were at two fifteen. Gotcha. All right, I'm going to get out of my one, two. All right, only thing I've got left is my quad 40 that's going to come off here in a couple minutes. So it looks like it'll be a small green day for me. Right now, my last contract is setting dead center mm -hmm. with, what did I say? 15 wide. You'd think it'd be good. You'd think. A little over five minutes. Four seven five seven six seven. I'll turn green. Build on my quad forty. So about a buck and a half profit on that one. Rut hedge currently up about 33%. S&P down 60 on the day, NASDAQ down 290.
Tomorrow, Tuesday, pre-market, we've got building permits. Building permits and housing starts. We've got uh, a few different Fed speakers in the afternoon, including Jay Powell. Obviously, the biggest event risk is the Israel-Iran conflict. Yeah, nice power hour to be selling premium for sure. Oh, and yeah. Juice, Beautiful. No price movement. I'm going to I'm going to finish uh looks like this is going to expire. It's at 60 cents. It's got to stay below 70. Two and a half minutes. Cents. Oh, yeah. No problem. $12,675 today. Beautiful. Four trades. Wow. Hanging around 50, 64 with a minute to go. Nice, Elliot. Is that the, just the standard $4, $3, $2 on each tranche? Old school. I like it. Ding, ding, ding. 50, 61.83. And that's an expiration. And that is an expiration. Tomorrow is the 16th. Chad will be streaming live in the morning for Mighty 90 and Runners. And we'll be back for Power Hour tomorrow afternoon. All right, all. Take care. Have a good night.